This is Puppets by Arlie. I'm Arlie, and this is how you make marionette legs. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Marionette legs have a joint that is a hinge. Now I'm making my legs out of really cheap, accessible materials, but throughout history there have been better designs. Uh, I don't necessarily have access to some of the materials that are traditionally used to build uh, marionette legs, like knee joints. Usually the hinge was made out of trunk fiber, which is the siding from those old-timey travel trunks, which was the best uh, weight. It was both lightweight and strong. Uh, a lot of professional marionettists use uh, a plate of steel, but I use a technique that uses uh, an eye loop and a wire in between. You're going to refer back to your original pattern. And on this pattern, my thigh is two and a half inches and my shin is three and a half inches. I have a scrap of an old piece of broom that I found in a dumpster and it works perfect. So let's see, what did I say? Two and three fourths inch. So, cut two pieces that are two and three-fourths inch, and I put a T to label them thigh. And then my shin was three and a half inches. So, do two, three and a half inch pieces. Cut all these out on the bandsaw. I got my two thighs and my two shins. Next, on the shin, we need to drill a hole that's about a fourth of an inch down from the knee. Take your shin and right in the middle of the shin, measure and mark for a hole that's a fourth of an inch down. Now, perpendicular to your side hole on the shin, you have to cut a slice that is longer than your eyelet in height. Now my eyelet is about three-fourths of an inch tall, which means that my slice has to be a little bit longer than three-fourths of an inch so that it has enough room to move. Since my eyelets are three-fourths of an inch tall, I've drawn a line perpendicular to the holes that is about an inch long. Now it's also important to get this slit so that it is just a little bit wider than the thickness of your eyelet. My eyelet is about a fourth of an inch thick. I'll put a little bit more than a fourth of an inch on either side. And I've drawn two lines outside of my original lines so that this slit will be just a little bit more than a fourth of an inch across. All right, so I've used the bandsaw to make two slits. And then to finish this off, I'm going to drill a hole at the top so that it makes uh, one big slit. And then I should be able to use my pliers to pull out the wood chunk in the center.
and there we have it a slit with a hole in the side next you'll take your shin and you'll take your thigh and put them together so we got the shin front of the shin and the side and you're going to cut a right angle triangle out of the back that's that is just above the hole and also shares half with the knee so lay your ruler on top of it and draw the right angle triangle and cut that out so we have our knee joint you're going to install the eyelet in the bottom of the thigh and it will sit straight forward and back to how the knee is oriented so take your thigh with the knee slit or with the knee taper in the back and you're going to drill a hole in right at the edge of the knee taper in the center and the eyelet will go in fo forward and back from the knee drill two holes at the bottom of your thigh And then screw in two of your eyelets. Get some wood glue on each eyelet. and screw it in so that it's facing forward, perpendicular to the slant in the knee. On the lower part of the thigh, cut a tapering shape to make it smaller for the ankle. At the bottom of the, the shin, be sure to cut a tapered shape to make it smaller for the ankle. And I usually cut four wedges off. I've tapered off my ankles. So I have several legs here that are done drying with the eyelets in them. And what will happen next is you take the eyelet, you take the one, you take the piece with the eyelet, the thigh, you take the piece with the groove, which is the shin, and you're going to lace it through. Then take a piece of wire, thread it through. And then, as you can see, we have a hinge effect happening. So cut several pieces of wire that will fit this length. Get two little pieces of wire. These are about three inches each, but every leg will be different and bend right angles on one side. Then 
take your shin and your thigh piece and thread your right angle wire through both pieces through the eyelet and then bend the edge of the eyelet over and it works better if you get it started with some pliers first Here are the marionette legs, ready for the next step. 